In the barren, windswept expanse of the Mauritanian Sahara, there is a geological feature so large and so perfectly formed that it is visible to astronauts in orbit. It is a stunning 25-mile-wide series of concentric rings that looks like a giant bullseye or a colossal, watchful eye staring up from the Earth. It is called the Rishat structure, or more poetically, the Eye of the Sahara. For decades, its origin was a profound mystery. Given its near-perfect circular shape, the first and most obvious explanation was that it had to be an asteroid impact crater. It seemed like the only force powerful enough to create such a massive and symmetrical scar on the landscape. But as scientists began to study the eye more closely, the truth turned out to be far stranger, and in many ways far more elegant than a simple cosmic collision. This is the story of a geological wonder that reveals the deep, slow, and powerful processes that shape our planet's crust from within. The initial hypothesis that the Rishat structure was an impact crater was a compelling one. When the first space missions in the 1960s sent back pictures of this incredible formation, it became a landmark for astronauts and a puzzle for geologists. Its circular shape was a textbook example of what an impact crater should look like. But when scientists finally mounted expeditions to this remote and inhospitable location to search for definitive proof, they came up empty-handed. The investigation on the ground revealed a critical lack of evidence for an impact. At a known impact site, the extreme pressures and temperatures of the collision create unique geological markers. One of the most important is shocked quartz, a type of quartz crystal whose microscopic structure is deformed in a telltale pattern by the intense shock wave of an impact. Despite extensive searching throughout the Rishet structure, not a single grain of shocked quartz has ever been found. Furthermore, there was no sign of the melted rock, or impact type, that would be expected from a massive cosmic collision. With the impact theory debunked, geologists had to search for another explanation. The clues lay in the rocks themselves. The rings of the eye are made of different types of rock, sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous, that have been tilted and eroded at different rates. The central pupil of the eye is a dome of heavily fractured rock known as breccia. This geological makeup pointed not to a force coming from above, but to a powerful force pushing up from deep below. The leading scientific theory now is that the Risha structure is a deeply eroded geological dome, a formation that was created by the slow upwelling of magma from beneath the Earth's crust over 100 million years ago, during the time of the supercontinent Gondwana. This upwelling of molten rock pushed the overlying layers of flat sedimentary rock upwards, creating a massive, blister-like dome. This process also fractured the rock and created a complex network of igneous intrusions, the remnants of the magma plumbing system. The climax of this geological story was not a sudden, violent event, but the slow, patient, and relentless work of erosion. Over tens of millions of years, as the dome was uplifted, wind and water went to work, stripping away the layers of the dome. Because the different rock layers had different levels of hardness, they eroded at different rates. The softer rock layers were worn away more easily, forming the valleys, while the harder, more resistant quartzite layers remained, forming the prominent concentric ridges that we see today. The perfect circular shape is simply a result of the symmetrical nature of the original dome. The reveal is that the eye of the Sahara is not a scar of destruction, but a beautiful, accidental masterpiece of creation and erosion. It is a cross-section of a massive geological formation, a window into the deep history of our planet's crust. We are seeing the internal, onion-like structure 
of a geologic dome, perfectly exposed at the surface by the tireless work of time and weather. The deeper meaning of the Risha structure is that our planet is a dynamic and constantly changing place, where forces from deep within are in a perpetual dance with forces on the surface. It's a powerful reminder that some of the most spectacular features on Earth are not the result of a single, instantaneous event, but of slow, patient processes that unfold over a timescale that is almost beyond human comprehension. The Eye of the Sahara is a testament to the fact that the Earth is not just a passive ball of rock, but an active, living geological engine capable of creating works of art on a planetary scale. If you are fascinated by the incredible stories written in the rocks of our planet, subscribe to Terra Firma. Up next, you get the order to evacuate a wildfire. Go now. Flames are on the ridge and the road is jammed. A few key decisions will make all the difference.